Good morning, Pre-K and K friends. All right, it's another day for some exciting art projects. Okay, today we're gonna be making bugs. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about the different things your bug has to have, but then you can decide how you want to create your bug. If you wanna draw it using crayons or markers or pencils, you can even paint the bug if you want to. Or instead of drawing or painting it, if you would like to create a bug using objects you find around your house, you can do that too. So let's talk about the things your bug has to have. A bug has three parts. It has a head, and I'm gonna draw the three parts. I'm gonna use ovals. You do not have to use ovals to make your bug. You can use any shapes you want. You could use squares. You could use rectangles. You could use triangles. I'm gonna use some ovals and a circle first for the head, so there's the head of my bug. And this part, this middle part, is called the thorax. I'm gonna make that an oval. And the bottom part is called the abdomen. So I have three ovals that I have made for my bug. Now my bug needs some legs. All insects have six legs. They can be short, they can be long, they can be um, not curds, but they can change direction. Let me show you what I mean. If I wanted my insect to have legs that started out like this, that's a straight line, but then it bends, kind of like your elbow or your knee. So let's do, that's two, three. So where do you think I should do the other three? Up here? No. Over here? No. How about right here? So I have three other legs on this side. So now there's my insect with its six legs. Now, I'm also gonna draw some antennas. Those are like the parts that come off the bug. Again, you can make them short. You can make them long and curving. Totally your choice. You can decide if you want your bug to have wings. You can decide if you want your bug to have maybe some patterns on the body. There is one thing I'm forgetting though. How's my bug going to see? Do I need some eyes? Let's do some eyes. You could do little eyes, you could do big eyes. I like really big eyes on my insect. So then, like I said, any details, those would be the other pieces you want to add. That's totally up to you. Maybe you want your bug to have stripes. Maybe you want your bug to have stripes that go this way. Totally up to you. I do not want you to copy this bug. You guys have much better imaginations than that. But when you're thinking about making your bug today, you do have to have a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. You need to have one, two, three, four, five, six legs. You should have some antennas and some eyes. The rest of it is totally up to you. Like I said, it could have wings, it could have short antennas, it could have other designs. Again, you can choose to draw it if you want, or you can find things around your house and put them together to make a bug, kind of like we did with the face a couple weeks ago. All right, hope you guys are doing well. Let's do a double high fives from far away and I'll see you next week. Ready? One, two, three. Have a great day.